Heat exchangers are key cornerstones for industries across the world. Despite their prevalence, more than 95% of shell and tube heat exchangers are prone to fouling, which is unavoidable even with latest management practices, while manufacturers often oversize them to compensate for it, resulting in increased capital costs for the end customers. Fouling deteriorates the chilling efficiency, even greater than 15% in many cases, through four principal forms of fouling. Calcium carbonate fouling, also termed as scaling, it builds up inside the condenser tubes and forms hard scale resembling a plaster slash concrete coating that is extremely difficult to remove, either chemically or mechanically. Dust, dirt, and silt fouling. Cooling towers inevitably end up attracting dirt and dust from the surrounding air that settles through the system into the cooling tubes, creating an insulation layer. Biofilm fouling. Four times more insulating than scaling, the warm water conditions and the dirt layers create the perfect breeding ground for bacteria and algae that results in a film inside the tubes and can spread harmful bacteria to cooling towers as well. Corrosion fouling. Deterioration of metallic parts due to various reasons results in formation of iron oxide layers over the tubes, while the bacteria from biofouling feed off of it, causing holes and pits inside the tubing. These major factors of fouling are responsible for tremendous losses, with estimates of over $70 billion in the U.S. alone, not including unplanned downtime caused by fouling and the losses range across cooling efficiency, maintenance, and partial or entire replacements of tubes as well. Many operators are unaware of the magnitude of fouling loss because the expense is distributed across numerous budgets, making it invisible. For most, current operational habit is to remove accumulated fouling through manual cleaning. However, the effectiveness of manual cleaning lasts only for a few weeks before the cooling efficiency is impacted yet again by new fouling. Meanwhile, the budget allocated to keep the system running is blown out of proportion due to loyalty to an outdated status quo. Well, there is a better and smarter way to handle it.